Hey, what's up everyone? It's Strange and welcome to another YouTube music production video where my mission is to help you succeed at making music. And today we are doing Mr. Happy. Now, unless you've been living under a rock for the last 10 years and you've been to a drum and bass rave, then you must have heard DJ Hazard's classic, Mr. Happy. Virtually every dance floor drum and bass DJ has played this track once in one set or another. And Mr. Happy is characterized by this really full sounding lead melody, which has become iconic to drum and bass music. And you've probably seen tons of memes with this song and some people love it, some people hate it. But when it comes down to it, Mr. Happy is a legendary song. Now, DJ Hazard has made tons of drum and bass classics, including Time Tripping, Bricks Don't Roll, Machete, and countless others. So comment down below, let me know what is your favorite DJ Hazard track. And guys, I'm happy to say I'm gonna give you guys the preset for free right off the bat. You can grab it down in the link below. All I ask of you is to hit the like button, subscribe, and share the video so you can help my channel grow. And also I'm trying to hit my next milestone of 20,000 subscribers. And if you can help me reach that milestone, then I'll do another live stream where I do some sound design. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so the way I designed the Mr. Happy synth is I'm using an instrument rack, which allows me to layer two instances of Serum. And simply the first instance is playing a sub bass and it's using a sine wave at two octaves down. And then the other instance is used to design the top end, which is where most of the sound design is happening. So let's disable the sub and just focus on the top mode. Now the Mr. Happy synth is basically using one oscillator and we have oscillator B acting as an FM modulator. And the waveform that I found worked best was the BS2 filthy wavetable. It just had that nasally sound with a full range of harmonics, which allows us to make that hard Mr. Happy stab sound. Now, optionally, you could browse through the different wavetable positions of the BS2 Filthy. It'll just change the texture of the sound. I find around there sounds good. Now, let's increase the unison mode to thicken up the sound, and I find anywhere from three and up worked. Now, let's just bring the detune down so it doesn't sound so wide. So around 0 0.03 worked. Now let's enable oscillator B and set it to a sine wave. And remember to bring the level all the way down to zero since it's only being used as an FM modulator and we don't need to hear oscillator B. Now back to oscillator A, let's set the warp mode to FM from B. Now let's increase the FM amount. Around 30% I say would be best. Now let's increase the octave of oscillator B. It just changes the texture of the FM synthesis a little bit. Okay, the next step is we're gonna enable the filter to shave off some of that top end. So we're gonna be using one of the low passes. Now for this particular sound, I enjoyed using the German low pass. It just sounded a bit more unique and kind of rounded the sound a little more. Bring the cutoff down to around 70 Hertz. We're cutting off all that top end. And then we're gonna apply LFO1 to the filter cutoff. And just make sure LFO1 is set to envelope mode so it cycles only once. And then bring the rate to a quick eighth note so it moves through the envelope a lot quicker. And then we're gonna be using the shark fin shape. So bring this point over here. And then we can round out the curves. Now we can increase the resonance for a little more juice and increase the drive. 
Now we're getting very close. The next step is let's go into the FX section and turn on the distortion and increase the drive all the way to 100%. Now feel free to browse through the different distortion algorithms. The tube sounded good. However, the diode ones also sounded really good as well. Hey guys, just to mention that my liquid production kit for Ableton is out now. My liquid production kit allows you to make liquid drum and bass with a few clicks of a button. I remove all the technical details for you so you can focus on making music right away. For non-Ableton users, I've also included a Wave Zen MIDI pack. As well, if you haven't already, you can also pick up the Jungle production kit. You can find that all down in the link below. Okay, so the basic sound of the Mr. Happy stab is pretty much done. From here on in, we're just going to be using external effects to really make the sound come alive. So the first thing we're going to do is apply an EQ and shave off some of that bottom end which is not required. And then we can dip some of those boxy low mids around the 245 area. And then we can increase some of those top mids around the 800 area. You could also increase some of the higher mids around the 2000 hertz area. Now from here on in, you could add some multi-band distortion. I'm using the Vaster and there's a preset that I use often, which is the 303 Sparrows. Now you can adjust the mounts of each band accordingly. And then the next step is you can add a bit of delay and reverb. And I'm simply using Serum FX and using their delay and reverb here. And I'm just using quarter note under delay and then I have a reverb here and I'm using a bit of low cut and high cut on the reverb to dampen some of that reverb. Okay, so that pretty much is the Mr. Happy step. Now let's re-enable that sub layer so we got that sub underneath. And then we have a melody here and starting on the F key. And then we have this rolling two-step beat here. And then here's this womp bass to play as an accent before the Mr. Happy sound. And then let's hear it all together. Alright, so that's pretty much the Mr. Happy step. So I really encourage you guys to play around with the stab and explore different melodies. There's definitely a lot you can do with this sound. You can play various melodies and bass lines with the sound. And I'd be curious what you guys make with the sound. And you can join the Discord community and post up your tracks so we can all check it out. And then we can all give you feedback as a community. Alright, so I was playing around with the Mr. Happy Stab and was having a lot of fun chopping up the melody and came up with these remix ideas. So I'm going to play them for you and let me know what you guys think. Alright, and here's another one where I chop up the melody a bit more. All right, and then I have this Amen remix with more sparser melody, and this goes out to all the junglists. And then I was playing around the Mr. Happy Stab this morning with a totally different tune idea. I filtered down the stab a little bit and I'm using more of a dotted quarter note and I've stripped down the drums for more of a roughish style drum and bass groove. So this goes up to all the heads.
All right, so those were my little tune ideas with the Mr. Happy Stab. Let me know which one did you guys like and which one do you want me to finish? All right, so that was the Mr. Happy Stab. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. I encourage you guys to explore and experiment with the different parameters. Try the different filter types and filter settings, as well as try different waveforms for this sound. You might be surprised at what will result. And once again, you can download the preset for free down below. All right, so that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. I'll see you at the next video.